Hey guys, Romy here. Wanted to shoot a real quick video to show you how to affiliate code your link. Your, sorry, your website. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your domain hosted site. Okay. So as you can see here, we have cattenromeo.com. So you want to log in. Okay. So right over here, log in. Okay. So what we're looking for is a plugin actually. Okay. It's it's a plugin. So what you want to do is uh, go under plugin and uh, under here. Click on, click on add new. Okay. okay, so just right over here, just type in what we're looking for is called the Cookie Monster. Okay, so Cookie Monster, there you go. So search plugins, search plugins. Okay, as you can see, I've already got it installed here. So I'm not going to install it again, but what you want to do is going to click install. It would, it would be something like this install now. Okay, so just go through the process. And then afterwards, uh, we're going to go to we got installed plugins. Okay. Under install plugins, just look for Cookie Monster, just right over here, and then click on settings. Okay, so as you can see, this is the variable that we're using, right? It's called Epic. You can put an ID, you can put an S1 variable, anything you want to call it. Um, I just, we're using Epic, just I, I really don't know why. But okay, so as you can, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so Cat and Romeo equals. Um, okay, actually, I'm going to show you um, a sales page that I made yesterday. Um, what is it called? Okay. Next 90 days. Okay, so as you can see, um, epic equals epic go. There you go. Let's press enter. As you can see, it's just right over here. As you can see, it's affiliate coded just right over here. Okay, so this is the variable that we're going to be changing in, in, the, in the next few while. Okay, just uh, stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see right over here, it says uh, awesome, or sorry, yeah, this is awesome. I'm in. And if you check, if you check the status bar, it says www.paranetwork.com join dot php um, question mark id equals and then the username, right? And it's all just right over here. No, I don't have to put in you know epic. Do I don't have to put in my you know username on all of these. All I had to do was put it right over here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this works as well. Okay, I'm gonna use another uh, username. I don't know. I'll think of something uh, crazy. Crazy name. Okay. Okay, this is just an example, guys. I, hopefully, nobody's using that that affiliate name. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, if I hover over this, it says on the bottom. If you check the status bar, it says www.empirenetwork.com. Join that page. B question mark ID equals crazy name. Okay, so now that's going to be global. Okay, it's going to show up on every one of the links right over here. Okay, okay, as you can see, crazy name, crazy name, crazy name. Okay, crazy name. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to actually modify that. Okay, so as you get, okay, so just right over here, just put in, like I said, you can put an ID, um, you know, whatever you want to put in as a global variable. Okay, so now just remember this, okay, this, uh, this word right here, okay, epic, okay, or whatever you put in. Now go under, when you're actually making the page, uh, just go under, well, obviously the page that you're going to be working on. Where is it? Okay, we're here. The next one is okay. So what you want to do is you want to take that. Oh, weapon. Okay. So what you what you want to do is you want to take that variable, epic, right? And then, as you can see, this is a link. Well, I this link points to the join page of uh, the Environment Network join page, right? So what you want to do, you want to click on this, right? On the settings, right? As you can see right here, whatever name you put in under the global variable, the parameter uh, variable that you put in, just put it here, and then under under those brackets, put put it in there. Okay. So this is the most important thing on your page. Okay. Epic. Good. So you won't have to keep you know writing your username and stuff. Okay. Epic. Okay. So there you go. Epic. Just press cancel. Okay. And then you're gonna have to do that for all those. Okay. So as you can see. And the status bar, it's like, you know, um, brackets epic, as you can see, brackets epic, brackets epic, brackets epic. So this is actually really smart. You know, you, I used to, you know, until actually before this, I was like, I was manually coding everything. And then uh, none of my team members could use it because, you know, everything was was pretty much coded to me. So, you anyway, know, that's, a, that's a quite a nifty trick that I found from Darren Hanser, actually. You know, uh, a good friend of mine. And... Uh, yeah, so so hopefully you guys got something out of that. If you guys have any questions, just contact me or contact Kat. And uh, 
yeah, that's that's about it. All right, guys. See you later.